my last guests tonight, certainly not least, Lisa Griffin and Louis-Philippe Chasson from Flash Moncton, the second edition of Flash Moncton is coming up very soon, and uh, we'll pick the brains of what's going on. So what's, what is going on with Flash Moncton the second time? What is going on with Flash Moncton? Um, uh, you know what? Is... We have ordered uh, some really nice weather. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. It's going to be minus three and gently yeah. snowing. It's going to feel like Christmas morning. Instead of morning. minus 30, it's minus three. <laughs> We're happy. That's good. Did that? Yeah. Did you have to like pay extra for that? or um, Who do you even contact? I don't think that? God. I can disclose that information. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. God and you do not disclose. Okay. <laughs> All right. Same thing. So, yeah. some, some of it's classified. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. That's good. Uh, good weather is very important, especially for an outdoor situation. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, what's uh, what's planned for it? What's uh, it's two day event? Yeah, so we have fourteen shows over the course of the weekend mm -hmm. in four different venues. Um, uh, parts of those are free, and parts of those are ticketed. Mm -hmm. um, so we're we're pretty excited about the lineup of the venues as well. Yeah, the venues are going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the we have a yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go through them. What are the yeah, venues? Yeah, why not? Yeah, well, we, we, I think the one of the most exciting one, well, I find anyway, um, the cathedral of mm -hmm. St. George. Like, everybody's talking about that church, and it's amazing. Like, it's one of the, you know, when you see the Moncton uh, skyline, like, it's always yeah, popping up there. That's mm -hmm. a live shot, as we said, that's a window. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. you can see the whole thing. Yeah. It's, it's like <laughs> right there. It's really purple yeah. for um, some reason. There, but, so it's like behind you know. the assumption, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm so excited about that. I mean, there's going to be some visuals like all around, like inside the, of the walls. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, mm -hmm. like we're pretty stoked about, about that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really exciting mm -hmm. to be using that venue um, yeah. for a show like this. It's never happened mm -hmm. for that before. Um, well, anytime you can use the like the intricate architecture of a church in particular, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. but of anything of that age, like it, it always looks incredible. Yeah, and we yeah. actually did, in order to find this venue, we did a, a, a church hop, essentially. Okay. Mm -hmm. We were like, let's check out every single church in the city. I think I missed a couple, but um, there's a lot of really cool spaces, and some of our biggest venues, if you mm -hmm. want to look at them like that. Mm. Um, and, and they are actually becoming... Uh, more progressive and, and the, the cathedral is an amazing partnership because they're excited about the show. Um, we're excited because it's just been saved and turned into a, a national uh, heritage building so that means it can't be destroyed anymore so that mm -hmm. we want to celebrate yeah. the people who actually saved it. Yeah, it's, it's very particular. And if you haven't been in that space, it's incredible. So this is going to be not only like a chance to like hang out in that wicked space but also to see it in a totally different way, um, hopefully a really inviting way um, we have some fun stuff planned for that show. So that's the early opening show for Flash this year. Um, yeah, that's on, on the, the 15th, Friday. Seven to nine. Uh, it's going to be a lot of projection art stuff. I've written projection mm -hmm. art things. Aha, uh -huh, projection that's art so. things. Yeah. It's a good definition. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty, that's pretty yeah. accurate. Yeah. Yeah, it's the scientific words for it. Or that's what I was figuring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't put stuff, so at least it's like an elevated level of things. stuff. Mm -hmm. but it's yeah. Things. Yeah. Like, yeah. Wasco, yeah. Uh, Wasco from Halifax is going to be mm -hmm. in there doing mm -hmm. his big, his big projection piece in the church. Be super cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And yep. then from there. Yeah, I, I think it's a theme. Like last year, we had a church as well. We had. Uh, I mean, it was so great. Um, I don't really? know if, if you were there for that show, but uh, oh, it's so mm -hmm. like you had all this cascading water on on the walls. Projection, of course, mm -hmm. um, and people were just amazed. Uh, you can check out the pictures from last year if, if uh, you want a reminder. Yeah. Um, for sure. But yeah. That was so a Church of the Trees show last year, so it was turned into trees, like a forest. Yeah. Um, like a summery forest in the middle of winter. And then this mm -hmm. year it's called Moonside is mm -hmm. that show. And it's, uh, I don't know if you've ever played Moonside. It was like a, in 19, what is it, 1992 or something? There would have there was I this game know, called Moonside. Uh, yeah. um, no, the only Moonside I can think of is from Earthbound. Okay. But. It's uh, anyway, it's a whole bunch of neon that's lines. Like, that's like we've lost our entire audience on that. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> either way, Moonside, yes, 1992. <laughs> tell me about it. Yeah, it's just uh, it's the whole you know, video the graphics are really bad back then. So like it's mm -hmm. it's neon lines that line the buildings and the people, and mm -hmm. that's what we're aiming for for the look inside the church, it's gonna look inside really, the cathedral. Really, really cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, and in that show, there's there's Isaac and Blue at reunion show. Um, yeah. Two really uh, rich characters who are getting back together for this. Hmm. Um, sometimes he plays the wheelbarrow. Sometimes his wife comes in and, and bicycles around in the crowd. 
Um, oh, yeah, they're so great. That, that duo is, is, is amazing. Yeah, really personable, really like intimate kind of way of performing. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're playing with uh, Chops and uh, Denis from Nip I Am as well. Mm -hmm. oh, that's going to be mm -hmm. very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll fill that space. And then uh, Maggie Savoy. Maggie Savoy, yeah. Love. And Lovely the and Montgomery music. Street Band. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bluegrass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's going to be, mm -hmm. yeah. be a great show. And then the 16th, the Fire and Ice mm -hmm. part. Well, actually, we moved to the Titan Bore after that. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, the night is not done. Yeah, done. Okay. yeah. there's <laughs> six more shows at the Titan Bore that night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and also for the first time ever, we're using the, cor the outdoor courtyard in the winter. Yeah. So I think Chad is planning uh, like an ice bar and well, we've got some, some really nice kind of seating and some projections in that space too. That's for the free part. Mm -hmm. And then we have the pub. Uh, there's an electronic music showcase. Um, first, check out some artists that you haven't seen from Atlantic Canada who are doing amazing things to push the electronic scene. Um, very live, very... Um, Accessible, I should say. Mm -hmm. So not like you're not at a rave. It's not like that. And then in the ballroom, uh, weak size fish, which is awesome, and a couple of the bands are in there too. That's yeah. sweet. And Chad, friend of the oh. show as well. So we, we're all over this. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, And it's gonna be fun to be at Tiny Bar at that uh, patio. Like I mean, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. it's it's one of the most beautiful patios uh, of the city, I and mean, yeah. we all mm -hmm. enjoy it during summer. And now, uh, just for this particular event, like it's gonna be enjoyable mm -hmm. during mm -hmm. winter as well. Mm. Totally, yeah. And, I think and the ballroom is a great venue too. Yeah. Like it's one of the best venues. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a lot of big bands play there. Yeah, no, yeah. For sure. so the bands are excited actually to come, like from like St. John and Freddie and whatever to to play in Moncton in the in the winter for a festival too. So, because mm -hmm. this is pretty new thing that we have like a music festival in the middle of winter. Yeah, in no one thinks to do it in the winter. No, and you I know what? It's why not that is. easy. Cause that's why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. It's not super easy, and especially no. you have to, if you're having some outdoor pieces and stuff. Yeah, it's challenging. No, um, but yeah, we're, yeah, we're stoked to partner with Titan Bore. And that's the festival's first stop for getting the Grand Monk Artisan Ales Flash Beer, There's which flash beer. is called Grand flash Monkster beer. Flash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I missed that. I want that, that out. Yeah, the bunny's going to drink it. I believe it. Yeah, he mm -hmm. was testing yeah. it, and he said it's really good. Bunny seems really rambunctious about it. Well, so. he's actually pretty chill right now. He's a bit tired. He's been, he's been a model. Um, yeah, for the last couple of days, that's right. why there's pencil and stuff all over him because he's actually been modeling for a bigger version of himself. Mm. That's right. Mm -hmm. So there's Which you'll just have to see. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to come to the Avenir on the Saturday to check have it out. To tease that. Yeah, that's that's the fire and ice event. That's the fire and yeah. ice so, event. Uh, so mm -hmm. let's get into that. We've got about three minutes. Okay. okay. So yeah, fire and ice. Fire and ice. <laughs> so there's going to be fire performances. Um, in Serio Motu, um, uh, Modus, uh, they, mm -hmm. they were there uh, at last year's um, Flash. Yeah, They're from Halifax. From Halifax. They're super nice. And the other one. And the North Fire I'm group is coming all the way from yeah. Toronto. So they do a whole bunch they of LED acts as well. They're doing an outdoor piece at Avenir, and then they're doing an indoor uh, big performance at Flamingos, which is the party that happens after it. Uh, sorry, I always call yeah, Flamingos, the, but the Pink Flamingo, the pink, pink Flamingo Lounge, yeah. Yeah, has its full name, yeah, <laughs> New on St. George, is actually town. right next to the cathedral um, in the basement. And ice sculptures, uh, yeah, live sculpting. ice carving, there's ice carving, figure skating, yeah. um, there's, we're setting up the mini Sputnik, so there's a little bar, yeah. um, some DJs, some mm -hmm. lasers, and some light shows, um, and then an interactive projection piece by Brendan Tipney for that one. Yeah. And then nice. the closing party is an all-female lineup at the Pink Flamingo Cabaret Lounge yep. with uh, Tiki Ty and Jules Bangsworth and um, uh, DJ, DJ Lou, Lou Local and DJ yep. Lizzo from Halifax. DJ so it's all-female. And uh, White Moth Visuals is also a female who's doing the projection the piece visuals. for that, and that's yeah. a vaporwave party. Oh, so, yeah. yeah, right. I don't know if you saw uh, from uh, last year's vaporwave. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's basically it's just neon colors and all kinds of like, uh, li like light sensitive uh, paint and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Palm uh, trees and yeah. suns like neon sunsets and like. It's. Yeah. Mm. Exotic. It's over stylized, <laughs> yeah. but we talked about it last year because our closing mm. party last year was Vaporwave 2. So this is Vaporwave right. 2.0, um, and it's going to be pretty incredible how we deck out the, the Flash Flamingos party. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We got to go with a bang. Yeah, totally. Of course. Yeah. You know, you got to end it in the right way. It's oh, it's definitely. It's going to be awesome. That's for sure. We got about a minute. Mm -hmm. So uh, how can people, I know you mentioned some of the events are ticketed. How can they get uh, tickets for that? So you can get a weekend pass, which includes all 14 shows. 
for 65 bucks and we just reopened the weekend pass so we're like pushing that sales you can only get those in advance mm -hmm. and if you want to go to shows you can get tickets at the door um, but they're single show passes so you, you end up paying more so it's, it's better just to get the whole pass for the weekend um, if you're going to marathon the whole thing get the pass yeah oh, and yeah. you can just go and to our really Facebook page it's a really good deal it's, it's, really good deal. it's probably yeah. the yeah. cheapest yeah. festival like ticket out there um, yeah. Well, you can say that because you're the supreme overlord of the thing. The right? supreme so overlord, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, like when you look at, I don't no, know. No, for sure. It, it's no, no, like, it's it's an it's excellent bang for your buck. Yeah. yeah, and not just for the not just for the acts, but also the the visuals, the 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 whole splendor of it. Yeah, yeah. the you experience. Know, it's the experience like you're, you're, of it. You're, exactly. You you'll get out of there transform. Yeah. For sixty five bucks. Yeah, 65 and like it's bucks. not a competition, you know, on who's cheaper, but we want it to be accessible for Moncton. Exactly. And some of the shows, like the venues are really big, so we exactly. want to pack them out. And Flashmoncton.ca yeah. is a place to go check it out. Thank you so much. Enjoy Thank coming you. later this month. Yep. It's gonna be awesome. Flash Moncton, fifteenth and the sixteenth.